The aim of this video is to analyze the lie bar back squat technique of a young powerlifter with reference to the technical model and to provide some corrective exercises to help improve technique. We can see our athlete here get to a nice wide stance with the feet turned outwards. His knees splay outwards following the line of the toes, which enables him to get down into a low squat with the pelvis below parallel as per powerlifting competition rules with the bar in a low bar position. He descends into the squat quickly to make use of the stretch shortening cycle with the descent remaining controlled as he maintains spinal posture through engagement of the lats to remain tight on the bar. We can see now from a side view that when the athlete takes up the weight there is a slight lean forward prior to any movement occurring uh, and this is due to the athlete being in a low bar position and trying to maintain the weight over their uh, base of support, so over their feet. As the athlete gets to the bottom of the squat we can see that their knees are slightly forward of their toes and that there is a hip hinge so that the athlete leans forward to get the weight over the midfoot as per the technical model circled on the right. There is a slight posterior tilt of the pelvis noticeable with this athlete when they get into the bottom of the squat which may indicate a lack of thoracic mobility when getting into this position. The more concerning part of this athlete's technique is the shift in the hips to the left at the bottom of the squat as they begin the ascent phase. So look for the shift here as the athlete starts to come back up. Um, they appear to be leaning more on the right leg to produce the force to come back through the squat. Uh, and this is indicated further up the chain with the level of the bar being lower on the right than it is on the left. Um, and this might be due to that rotation of the trunk as they're leaning onto that right leg. This imbalance was first noticed with this athlete during his deadlift. Um, so notice how the athlete leans slightly over to one side as he gets to grips with the bar. He does straighten up throughout the lift, but then as the bar comes back down to the floor, the left-hand side of the bar, so your right, hits the floor first, indicating he is preferring to lift with his right-hand side. And this can be seen in the third power lift, with the athlete rotating round to the right again, favouring that side which is causing him to lift further with the left-hand side due to the rotation, causing a significant lean of the bar. This image indicates what I think could be occurring with the athlete at the beginning of the ascent phase of the squat. His trunk rotates round to the right as he's rotating onto that right leg, his dominant side, and this is indicated when we look at him from the back and his hips shift over to the left as he rotates onto his dominant side. Therefore, for me, the issue is beyond the scope of the use of simple coaching cues during the athlete's squatting performance in training. Uh, and we have stripped the athlete's technique back to work on his posture and mobility initially. So here you can see some thoracic mobility drills being carried out. Uh, the athlete has been doing these for the last two weeks now, and he has noticed um, an improvement in his squatting performance, particularly at the beginning of the ascent phase, where he's able to generate force more efficiently in a more balanced manner because his spine is able to get into a more upright position rather than such a forward lean as we saw earlier. Along with these mobility drills, we've added in some isolation work for the weak side, so the left side, uh, of the athlete's pelvis. So we're working on the glutes here, uh, but we can see that there is a slight rotation with the right side of the pelvis dropping uh, as the athlete carries out this exercise, which would indicate that he's not quite ready to do this. We've regressed this exercise slightly here to get the athlete in a supine position, so they're supported by the floor, uh, and to drive their left leg down into the foam roller, so activating their hamstrings and their glutes, to maintain that bridge position with the upper back and the calf being the only things in contact with the floor and the foam roller, respectively. In the one hour a week that I spend with this athlete, we've now got him back into the squat rack and added some lateral resistance to his squatting movement. So we're actually pulling him over to the right hand side here, so the side that he currently favours anyway, with the intention of getting him to fight the resistance uh, and lean more onto his left hand side and retrain those motor units to, to fire up during the beginning of the ascent phase of the squat. So I've started to add a little bit more resistance to the band here now as I move further away and the band gets tauter. And I've added a blue line in here, so hopefully you can see that the athlete is not shifting as far left as he was previously, as indicated by the red line. The athlete has displayed some movements typical of the low bar back squat used in powerlifting. We've addressed some of the thoracic mobility issues, and we will continue to work on retraining his motor unit recruitment strategies to ensure a balanced approach to the ascent phase of the squat 
and to avoid the rotation round to the dominant right hand side.